Hello everyone and welcome to Hatmaker University. Today we are going to show you how to use the Drive Picker widget by building a file upload component that you can use in your apps. This technique is super useful in document approval apps. We're going to start off today by building a data model. We'll call it files and we're going to add a couple fields here. These will be string fields and the first one we'll call icon. The second one we're going to call name and the last one we're going to call that one URL. Okay, now that we have our data model in place, let's go over to the page and set its data source to the model that we just created, which is files. Now we'll drag out a table. It's bound. We only want to be able to edit the name here. So we'll just click on the name and then we'll click finish. We're going to delete that URL field and drag in a link widget. Drop it right there. We're going to want to set its size to fill parent so that it takes up the space that was there. And we'll set the target to blank, that way it opens in a new page. And we're going to set the binding to the URL. And we'll just type open file so we know what that does. We'll also delete the icon label and we'll drag in an image widget. Let's bind its URL field to the icon field in our database. And then let's set that size down to 16 pixels, which is Google's default icon size. And let's add a little bit of margin to the left and the right so that it spaces it out a little bit there. We'll also delete the icon header and we'll adjust the left margin on the name header. We're going to drag a horizontal panel out here and we're going to drop it right next to the spinner. It's really important that we set its data source to files create. Now it's time to drag out our drive picker and we'll drop it right there in the panel. That way it inherits the files create data source. Let's type in files underscore upload and set that to icon so we get an upload icon. Now let's go through a few things here on the widget itself. So this dialog title is going to be what appears at the top of the pop-up box for selecting files. Features, we're going to go over that in some other videos later, but it does allow you to do things like multiple uploads of files and things like that. Views will help you define which kinds of files you want to see, and they're defined here. We'll just keep it with all the docs. We're going to set the selected doc URL to the URL in our database, and the name to name. The on document select takes a special action, and this happens after the file has been selected. So we're going to type in widget.datasource.item.icon equals result, which is a special return item, docs, and because this could be an array, uh, we're just going to specify the very first item in the array since we're only doing one file at a time. And we're going to use the icon URL. That'll set the icon URL in our data source. And now we're just going to have to do widget.datasource.createItem to actually create the item. Here in the preview, we can click the upload button and see our files listed in Google Drive. Let's just select one of these presentations here. And now you can see that shows up in our list and it's written into our database. Let's click the upload button again and select a doc. And now you see that we're getting the doc icon there and that. If we click one of the links, we'll be able to have that open in a new page. And that's happening because we set the target to blank. Well, there is a simple list component that uses the drive picker to upload the files. I'm sure you're going to find this really useful in your apps as you build things like document approval and workflows. Please check out appmakeruniversity.com for more great training videos.